So it's on him, this earth to stay here. So the question is, while it is here, as it is going to be, who has it? Is it in the hands of the righteous or in the hands of the wicked? Now there is no third option. It's either in your hands, presuming you're righteous, or it is in the hands of people who are going to use it to do very dangerous things. So if you were God, who would you rather had the wealth? If you had on the one hand, you had somebody as righteous as me. <laughs> okay, as God win. Eh? <laughs> but I'm not so sure about God. Eh? <laughs> Since this is his day, we'll give it to him. Eh? <laughs> so somebody as righteous as God win, on the one hand, and on the other hand, you had... <laughs> <H -O. laughs> yes. <laughs> now, can you imagine? So, you have somebody as wicked as... Eh? <laughs> It's not going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> and somebody has writers, but you, you're being used as a figure of speech. Eh? Yeah, I hope you know, but uh, I'm not sure. But you know, <laughs> we'll presume. Is your wife here? No. Okay. <laughs> if you want to know if your man is truly righteous, ask their wife. Eh? She's the only one who knows. Anyhow, now, who do you prefer the world is? Is in control of the world? Because either way, it's going to be here. So if you were God, would you prefer it in the hands of righteous people or in the hands of wicked people? Is it answer? So, so we, our be wanting to be rich is not a selfish thing. We don't want to be rich for us. We want to be rich for God. Yes, yes. Because we are preventing the wealth which is here to, from going into the wrong hands. Yes. And when it goes into the wrong hands, it is actually used to convert people into wrong things. Now we can use it to convert people to right things. You understand what I'm saying? Now there are people who will not listen to you. Like have you seen those street preachers, those guys who preach on the street? And you know, okay, they do a good work. But they, I mean, they, they are not easy people to consume what they are saying. You understand? Because they don't look palatable themselves. Eh? So what comes out of them? Imagine you are this guy driving and you see a street. I'm not, and I'm not trying to look down on them. But you have to be as good as. If you're a salesman of something, BI, like somebody. Okay, if you're a beer salesman, as a, who asked that question about beer, by the way? <laughs> eh? Have you ever sold beer? Yes, sir. Hey, where? UBL. UBL, eh? yes. And you sold a lot of beer. <laughs> no, I mean, you are, if you're a good sales, if you're a sales woman, you might as well be a good one. Eh? Yeah. No, but the point is, by the way, I like not. Nah, eh, eh, so she did a good job eh? um, selling beer, which is different from all the people are told. Eh? I don't know how different, but interesting questions, interesting answers. But the point is this: now the person has to look palatable before you buy what they are selling. True or false? So if somebody comes who is rugged and he's saying, Jesus Christ, what? Man, even Jesus is looking at saying, really, eh? maybe I, I would rather be represented by somebody as smart as Godwin. Eh? In a, imagine eh, if somebody went to the street side eh, like that eh, and said, the Lord is coming. Who's, eh? <laughs> when is he coming? <laughs> then people park at the roadside and start saying, ah, tell us more about this. Because the person looks something good. So you have to present something which, you, you look something which somebody want, you, what people want to be like you, so they want to hear the message. Now, then on the other hand, somebody stands there putting on, you know, um, a green trouser and a red jacket, and you know, and you read completely weather beaten as they often do it. And <laughs> there's a time actually, one came to me, 
and told me that what? That we be na umoto kayo. Yes, we are coming away. Oya, wait a moment, bro. So I just got to take care. But Jesus Christ is coming to get a very rich church. You know the Bible says that. It actually does. It's not a joke. He's not coming to get losers. Jesus does not come to get losers. He comes to get winners. Eh? Yes. So even when he comes to get disciples, he finds one who is a loser. And he first makes him a winner, then tells him, leave the fish, now let's go. You don't, he doesn't come and say, Lord, we've spent the whole night, we've not caught anything. Then he says, okay, come, I'll make you fishers of men. Fishers of men, you are not even catching fish. So which men will you catch? So he first says, okay, first launch your thing. Then when you have boats full of fish, and even you're calling your friends to help you with the catch, then he says, now leave the fish. Come and I will make you fishers of men. Because he does not deal with losers. Amen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he first turns them into winners. Don't get me wrong. Okay? Yeah. You understand? Eh? Yeah. Because if you're a good, if you're a bad fisherman and you spend the whole night without catching fish, then you also spend the whole someone without converting anybody. Yeah. How many people want to believe Jesus Christ today? Okay. Um, I'm joking. Eh? But some of you need it. Eh? So now we are going to launch this book. I wish it was this big. <laughs> the encyclopedia on world. <laughs> you read this one and you stay poor, then you just look for the God and put them on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> the Britannica of worlds. So, um, we are by... Eh? We are not launching a book, we are launching worlds. Yeah. Yeah. By declare you officially. well officially declare you rich. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another hand of applause for Mr. Joseph Kaulita. Wow, he has taken it even deeper from just launching a book to opening a chapter of wealth. Ladies and gentlemen. I have a book with me here, which has been uh, autographed by Joseph Cabreta, our guest of honor. Give him a hand of applause. I would like to auction this book. The person who would like to take this book tonight. The first book after the auction. For us, we read the manuscript. This is the first book out. Ugandan style is, you can say I have 40,000 and you take it if people agree, yeah? If they don't, they'll, if you say I have 500 shillings, you can take it, okay? Who would like to take it? And then we ask whether people will give it to you to take it with your money. Who is interested? Solomon. <laughs> Who would like to take the first copy? <laughs> okay, Kevin, you want to take it? And how much? Yeah, a hundred thousand for Mamilis. Mamilis. Where, where is Mamilis? Ah, the brewer. A hundred thousand for Mamilis. The brewer. Do you give it to Mamilis? Yes. Anyone else who is interested? Anyone who else who is interested? Looks like money is there. The people here, this table, interested? Anyone else? Uh huh. Kaoleta? 300,000. Uh huh. For the author's wife. Ah! 300,000 for the author's wife. And the author was sleeping in the, in the manuscript, the papers. I hope she did sweep away some of them. Yeah. Okay, so we have the author's wife at 300,000 and, uh, and uh, the brewer at 100,000. So, anyone else who is interested?
police. Oh, she has oh a hundred thousand police. So it's now two hundred police and two hundred for hey three hundred for her. Hey, by the way, you give you give the money. Okay. Where is the three hundred thousand? <laughs> Okay, that's 350. Okay, so you put 100 for Liz. So Liz has 200 and uh, Gloria. Uh, okay, mommy Liz once, 620. Mommy Liz twice, 600 and... Yes. Uh -huh. I believe it's business of so I'm giving 100,000. Mrs. Arthur. Good deal. Wisdom. Wisdom deal. Okay. A hundred thousand. We just are a one and our You will give back to an author. Okay. To Bala, you just give me. I will be the one to count and tell you whether there is a balance or not. A hundred K. So now the author's wife is at six hundred. Six hundred. Five hundred and. 640 and 20. Baroness is on uh, 530. Five, so the leader is who? Anai. The blower. It's Mami Liz. Mami once. Mami Liz twice. Ha. 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 I think I should just stand on two tables, this one, and yeah, mm -hmm. Baroness 100. So that puts Baroness at 600 and 630. So she's really... 10,000. 10,000 for Baroness. 640. 640. Baroness once, Baroness twice, Baroness when I Baroness has come from Mombambe. Yeah? Fifty thousand to what it is, but now nah, this man just breaks our heart. <laughs> the lover boy there is doing everything. We do not take items, so do not remove the coat. <laughs> <laughs> but the younger man is about to give up. <laughs> ah. So until is six hundred and seventy, Baroness six hundred and forty. Muchala Otha, uh, 600. We just make it 700. 700. 700, mommy leaves once. 700, mommy leaves twice. And uh, I, I think we should close it and get the band here and we dance. Yeah, let's just close it. Mommy leaves, you have 700. One, twice. Wait, for who? Baroness, I know there is so much love from your people, but it's <laughs> in Auntie Liz, Akaye. On your account, 60. Give me. Mobile money. Mobile wallet. Now, which one is that one? You do with that one. Okay, so 60,000 puts you at how much? 700. It's a tie. It's a tie. Can someone just uh, give us a determining vote? <laughs> we cut the book in two. -two. The one will take the signatures, the other will take the conclusion. Solo would say, Uh huh. For who? The true one. 710. Once, twice. For who? Hey, how much? Then so it's a draw. <laughs> I get that. Now, someone give us just 10,000 may I count and we go. Uh, and it, you're giving it to for um, the Baroness. Baroness was, uh, hey, you're giving it for Baroness. How much? 50 for Baroness. 50 for Baroness, that's uh, 780. 760. Seven, Baroness was, Baroness twice. 60,000 to the change. Guy, I'm here. the round figure. Around there, 50 and about. Don't bring the change. Keep the change. <laughs> Burn us with the book. Uh, how much now? 
810. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for your figure is 710. Baroness 810. But you man, why are you counter? You, you, you and the other man there. The other man will never forgive you. Thousand. I would like in a special way the band. Can you come and play? I first wait, my I, I want the guest of honor, the husband. I, I mean, sorry, the author. I beg your pardon. Sorry, your pardon. I mean, your pardon. I, I want the guest of honor, the author. Should I call the wife? What if she boxes her? Because she was also interested in the book and the wife to come here. Ban, come and play for us some good dance music. And those of you who supported Auntie Liz, you can come dancing with her. I'm sorry for you, Jim. If there's anyone uh, good enough, we have pastors here. I saw a reverend behind. And uh, there's Pastor Jack Barrow. There's a guy who needs counsel. <laughs> he invested, he put his capital and his profits. He's now undercapitalized. <laughs>